Go ahead, Eric. Go ahead. Uh, that's what I mean. We're definitely come into it. You know, you take away come from the starting conference. I mean, we do have a competitive conference, I think. You know, but we do play a little chip on our shoulder. With nothing. we say we kind of have nothing to lose. You know, coming in here not expecting to do too much. But we just got to go out there and play our game. And we believe, you know, as a team and you know, the coaching staff believe in, believes in us that we can compete with uh, anybody out there. So we just got to go out there and execute our game. Um, I, I say the same thing. Uh, we're the only team in the Southern Conference in the in the uh, NCAA tournament, and uh, we, we want to prove that we're we got the teams in the SoCon to maybe get us a few more bids next year. Uh, I feel like we've got a good chance uh, doing what we, what we've been coached to do, and uh, that, that's we just got to go and do it. Eric, your thoughts on facing Michael Roth, one of the better pitchers in the country? Um, yeah, we, we've heard a lot about him, a uh, left-handed thrower with a one ERA. That's uh, unbelievable, playing in the SEC, for one. Um, we, if we go out there and do what we're coached to do, uh, just take the right approach, take what he gives us, uh, I think I think we'll be okay. For uh, for Andy and Eric, did it, uh, at all, what was the reaction when you guys find out, okay, you're in the NCAA tournament, and you're matched up against the defending champs? I mean, it was kind of uh, it was exciting for us as a team, you know, to be able to come to this facility and uh, get to participate in a regional and participate against South Carolina. I mean, you know, we knew coming in that we were going to face a tough team and probably get a four seed and have a pretty tough team to face opening game. You know, we're just thankful for the opportunity. And we, you know, just believe we go out there and play the way we know we are capable of playing. You know, we should fight. Uh, we played them real close the past few years. Uh, last year we took them to 13 innings and lost. And I think our team is uh, more improved this year than it was last year. So I look for uh, good things to come out this weekend. Have any other questions for the student athletes? No. For the guys again, I mean, what's it like? I mean, everybody's talking about uh, the bats this year, home runs being down, but it doesn't seem like their home runs are down, especially for for uh, for you guys uh, and one of your teammates. What's it like having that? Uh, I don't know, power, watching that power display throughout the season. I mean, it's pretty exciting. I mean, everyone was talking about the bats, like you said, coming into the season, how home run numbers are going to be down, power numbers will be down. I mean, we had Victor Roach, I mean, leading the nation in home runs. I mean, he kind of didn't really get off to such a hot start either. You know, he got, you know, he caught fire. And just being able to be a part of that and watch that and go throughout the season was pretty exciting for us. Too. Yeah, personally, I haven't had quite the power numbers I had last year. Um, but Victor, he's, he's been unbelievable this year. He's been on the show. Uh, you can almost expect every time he comes up, it's like, man, he's, he's about to do it again. Uh, I mean, the bats, they made a big difference, but uh, we've focused a lot more on small ball this year, and that's gotten us here, so. Mark? How important, how important is it for the fact that all these teams are pretty much from the same area and the fact that no one's really going to be bothered by the heat, you know, instead of maybe a team coming from the upper north coming down here, you guys pretty much had to deal with that all year. Is that, is that a key? I mean, yeah, I mean, we've I mean, had to deal with that all year. I mean, we've been practicing in South Georgia and dealing with that heat and over in Charleston this past weekend for the tournament. I mean, it's definitely something we're used to and we've gone through it. I mean, me and Eric have been here a few years and have adjusted to the heat. But well, I mean, definitely all these teams, you know, are, are used to it, so we don't really look at that as a, you know, a benefit or anything. Um, same thing Andy said. Uh, one thing that we're going to adjust to is not having gnats on our face, and I think that's going to be a factor good for us. <laughs>